If you want to know more about RSS and what it is and how you can use it with your WordPress website, then stick around because you're in exactly the right spot. Okay, RSS, it stands for really simple syndication and all it is is the feed from your WordPress website. Think of it like a news feed. So inside your feed, what will appear is any new content that you've published on your WordPress site. Now, RSS was widely used a few years ago, maybe a little bit longer than just a few years ago. But now a lot of people are using Twitter or other means to keep up with sites that they enjoy following. But RSS is still an active technology and there are still many uses for it to follow news sites maybe or web comics or you know sites that you like things like this and you can do some pretty cool things with rss and there's some neat ways to use it it's also used for instance in auto blogging or for syncing content between more than one website the feed from your site then appears in an rss reader or inside a website that's embedding the first website's feed, if that makes sense. Some email programs even support RSS. This is a great way to allow people to follow your site, subscribe to your content, this kind of thing. And it integrates nicely into, as I mentioned, these RSS readers. RSS readers like Feedme or Feedly, there's a bunch of them out there. So let's hop over to the computer and I'll show you some cool stuff related to RSS. Okay, so let's see how we can go and make use of RSS feeds in your WordPress website. It's actually really, really easy stuff. You just need to know a few URLs. Let me jump over to my browser here. What I have inside our browser here is just a plain old vanilla default installation of WordPress. And I happen to throw in some placeholder dummy content into this installation of WordPress as well, just so we can see something here in our feeds. Now, you're more than welcome to follow me along with your own site if you want, by the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop open a new browser tab here. And all we need is our site's URL. So for me, it's 10tontesting.com. I'm going to paste that into the new browser tab, forward slash, and then simply feed. That's it. And you should see something like this. This is your site's default RSS feed. So in other words... What happens here is our WordPress website RSS feeds are created for us automatically. There really isn't anything for us to do. That's why I said right off the top here that we just need to know a URL or two. That's kind of it. And by the way, if this didn't work for you, if you don't see anything inside your browser here, try something like this. Try something like yourdomainname.com forward slash question mark feed equals RSS. Try that and you should see something inside your browser like this. Just a plain text RSS feed. Okay. Now, there are some settings, there are some ways that we can control what appears inside of our default RSS feed, our site's RSS feed, and that's going to happen, of course, inside the back end of our WordPress site. I'm over inside my dashboard now, of course, and I'm going to go all the way down to settings on the left-hand side and over to reading, and here we have two options, two settings that we can use to control our site feeds. The first one is this guy right here. Syndication feeds show the most recent X number of items. And you, of course, can set that to whatever you want. 5, 10, 20, 50, whatever the heck you want. That's the first setting. The second setting is this guy here. For each article in a feed, show the full text. Or if you want, you can go with a summary instead. Maybe because it's inside of a a site feed, maybe summary would be the best option there. Whichever one you choose there is entirely up to you. If you do make any changes here, make sure to click on save changes down towards the bottom. So that's kind of it. That's the basics of RSS with your WordPress website. But before we close out, I thought it would be cool to show you a few extra neat things that you can do with your RSS feeds. So in addition to the default theme, 
which again we discovered was just very simply your domain name.com forward slash feed, WordPress actually has a few additional feeds that we can make use of. For instance, you can pull a feed from any category. So let me show you how this is going to play out because we need to know which category we want to pull the feed for. So I'm going to go back to the back end here. I'm going to go into my posts just for a moment. You can go into your categories if you want, and I've got all kinds of placeholder categories in here, and I'm sure on your site you've already set up a few categories for yourself. But at least for this demonstration, I'm going to go into posts here, and I'm just going to look under categories and see what we have here. There's a category called markup. There's a category called template. Okay, I'm going to try and pull the markup category. So here's the URL that I need to know. It's going to be mydomainname.com, of course, forward slash category, okay, forward slash the name of the category. Mine was markup. Whatever yours is, go ahead and insert it there, forward slash feed. And when I navigate to that feed, all I'm getting now are posts that are a part of, at least for me, the markup category. Pretty cool. Another thing I could do is I could make use of tags in a very similar way. I could go forward slash tags and then the name of a tag if my site makes use of tags and if your site makes use of tags as well. So again, in the back end here, tags, any one of these tags I could pull the RSS feed for, pretty cool stuff. There's one more that I want to show you that comes to mind at least here, and that is comments on my site. So comments on any blog posts. So the RSS feed for that is going to be, again, the domain name forward slash comments like this forward slash feed. And there we go. There's the comments on my blog or on my site. Okay, pretty cool stuff. So these additional feeds are really good for filtering your content across maybe social media or maybe other sites that you've partnered with. So it's good to know. And as I navigate all the way back down to my desktop, there you go. That's some extra RSS info for you to use on your WordPress website. And that's all there is to using RSS in WordPress. Okay, so there's RSS. That's how it works inside WordPress. Pretty cool stuff. You saw how you can find your WordPress site's default RSS feed, how to set some of your RSS settings, and how to make use of other RSS feeds that can be found inside WordPress. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, I hope you had some fun here. I hope you learned a thing or two as well about RSS. All right, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.